Welcome everyone to your intro video for December 17th to the 23rd of 2018. Um, this will be, um, I'm not going to do all 12 signs like this, like I usually do a recorded video, but it will be an audio tarot upload and um, each sign will have their own. But for all of you, there will be access to the um, audio tarot or recorded videos as private readings, but the phone call option is still not an option just yet. It might open up soon, but not just yet. For the week, here you go. Much love to you. Much light. I wish you the best and uh, have a good one. Welcome Virgo to your love reading for December 17th to the 23rd of 2018. Now, your emotions this week, we look into some uh, heavy things, all right? Um, I feel like a lot of you might be uh, disappointed with someone the ace of cups in reverse is a lack of um, emotional support growth with another person something is not uh, reaching the heights of emotional security that you might want um, so there could be tears you know you could be just um, kind of holding back not really expressing yourself not feeling all that playful um, there could be a breakup as well and I feel like this is on the back end of either you receiving I feel like you will receive some of you may have um, last week but you might receive some communication from now this is a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, male or female but whoever it might be is a bit more of a feminine trait but sometimes it can come through like a masculine kind of energy because that person is so aggressive and um, it really doesn't matter you know what you say what others feel you know how they might really be feeling right now because the emotions are so intense that they might say hey this is not going to work out for me now for some of you if you're in a position of disappointing this person that's why they're riled up and they're kind of leaving you where you know there's no way to turn now in love is so interesting because in love it can relate to literally people that you're in love with that's what it's based on but sometimes it's in family environments people that might affect you in your love relationship um but there does seem to be some kind of communication that comes through and then it leaves you to have it's a helicopter outside so loud i'm not sure if y'all can hear that but um two of swords shows up you're having to make a decision um these new beginnings that could potentially happen with you and someone else it seems like it could but this is either an ex-partner or even someone new that is um, kind of putting their foot down or responding in a way that's having you to get real uh, with the connection so they leave you at a crossroads of having to make a decision but in the meantime they're shutting the door the world is there and that's um saying hey uh if i can't get any communication or if i feel like things are not really working out for me um it's it's just not right now and we can't move forward with this relationship until we make some changes those changes could involve uh debt um six of pentacles in reverse where a lot of you might really be trying to figure out the equal give and take that should be there between you and someone else but you might not be able to do so because you don't have the financial security that you want and you feel like you can really manifest in your life but that's a big issue right now which could be causing the breakup because emotionally you can't really express yourself how you want to or be around someone because you are potentially having to deal with maybe an ex-partner or um children as well some of you are you're definitely still getting over heartbreak from somebody else and as you go through a process of healing and grieving um it's best to let go of a connection and be honest with that person and some of you might even be thinking about that like should i reveal to them why i'm really not able to connect two things maybe because that emotional past is still lingering around or the fact that there are financial issues which seem to be uh, ranking true for a lot of you out there so this is going through a divorce or divorcing yourself from a person that um, maybe is a bit fed up. I feel like they might be a bit reckless or responding in a way, even with the ace of swords coming through. Um, it seems to be, hey, that's a, a good thing because it means I'm clearly being honest about how I feel right now uh, when it comes to you and someone else. But when the Queen of Wands is in reverse, that means that that person is potentially saying a very nasty in a way they don't really have to say it. So that could get under your skin in some way. But through the whole situation, it doesn't mean like this is not, um, especially if it's someone from your past, you might figure uh, out whether or not you want to reconcile with that person. Someone from your past is returning to your life, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments and getting to know each other as you reveal your animal selves to each other. Your bond is deepened. That's part of knowing how that person does respond 
from the way that you maybe handle things if you tell them that you have to wait or even if you don't say anything and respond to them when it comes to how they respond to you um, what will they do will they jump into a different relationship will they kind of move on and shut you down forever you know are they going to give you the space that you need if you are to be honest with that person but I feel like someone has um kind of had enough and I feel like they could be respond responding very bluntly um, either because you're not opening it up or the fact that they um, it's something going on where they're uh, fed up about something I get a sense of all right now again it could be on, on your side um, where you know you could fix some things and it could be on their side as well all right but someone is potentially coming around to let you know that they're not going to be around for as long as you might need them to be all right so that's going to be your reading for the week. I do send you a lot of love, lots of light too, tons of healing vibes. I wish you the best. And you can always go to the website, psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you.